This video is about the cell cycle, which is the process that cells go through as they're getting ready to divide and then once they're actually dividing in order to create two new cells. This process is broken down into two major parts and uh, this is the exact diagram from your textbook which I think is a pretty good job representing these two parts but it can be a, a little confusing just because there is a lot going on. Um, for starters, the, the first part of this process is called interphase and you can see on the inside of the diagram there's this arrow that goes around you know, roughly three quarters of the diagram that refers to this interface section. Interface includes G1, S, and G2. These are all part of interface, which is what that inner portion of the diagram is showing. The outside portion here that's bracketed off, this is referred to as M phase. I know it's not really written out there for you, but this is M phase along the outside. M phase has two parts to it. It has mitosis, and then it has cytokinesis, which is a separate section. So what we'll do when we're looking at uh, this process in the video, we'll break it down into two parts. First, we'll just look at what's happening during interphase, during this section here, made up of G1, S, and G2. And then we'll look at M phase, which is made up of mitosis and cytokinesis. So we're going to break this one down into parts, make it a little bit easier to deal with. So to start things off, we're looking at interphase in greater detail. Uh, now, this whole process is a cycle, so there really is no set start or stop point, but I think it's the easiest if you think of this as starting in G1 phase. It just makes it easier to string the ideas together. So if you're looking at the diagram, it says during G1, the cell is growing. So there's things that are going on here that's preparing it for division. Uh, so we're going to think of G1 just as a period of growth. So the cell's getting larger. Remember, one of the things we talked about in the previous video on why cells divide is that cells have to divide because they get too big. Once they reach a certain size, it's hard for them to efficiently run processes inside of the cell anymore. Uh, the next one is S phase. If we're looking at this one on the side, it says DNA replication. This is where the DNA is copied. Uh, technically, S phase stands for synthesis phase. To uh, synthesize something is to make something. So what we're making here is a new copy of the DNA. The reason this is important, if you remember from the chapter on cells, is that all the processes inside the cell require the DNA, so the cell needs a new copy that it's going to end up giving to the new cell at the end of division. Because the whole idea with cell division is we start off with one cell, it goes through all these processes, and then eventually you end up with two cells at the end. Uh, G2 phase, if we're looking at the diagram, it says preparation for mitosis. So this is when the cell is actually getting ready to start dividing. Mitosis is when changes start to happen inside the cell that end up leading to division. There is something important, though, that I want you to know about this step. Uh, G2 is another period of growth, which is big. The other thing that happens is that the cell checks the DNA. This is very important because the cell can make mistakes, and we'll get into this a little bit more when we actually study DNA later on on its own, but uh, it's extremely important that the cell double checks that to make sure none of those mistakes are passed on to the next cell, because a genetic mistake could lead to a mutation or a genetic disorder, and uh, most of the time that kind of thing is going to end up being bad for the cell. So just to recap from the diagram, this is interphase shown on the inside here, which encompasses G1, S, and G2 phase. Uh, the reason that it's all considered interphase is if you're just looking at cells under the microscope, which we'll do um, for, for this chapter, we'll look at some cells that are dividing and some cells that aren't, all cells in interphase look the same. So you can't tell just by looking at it whether or not a cell is in G1, S, or G2 phase, which is why we call them all interphase, because they all just look the same. Uh, when we get into mitosis, We'll talk about the way the cells look, and there are different things that are happening there. Uh, the last portion of this is M phase. So if we go back to our little diagram here, remember this little section off to the side is M phase. So over here, referring to like this little slice of the diagram, it breaks mitosis down into four steps, and then we have cytokinesis at the end, which we'll talk about last. But um, mitosis are the actual steps that are going into the cell dividing. 
Uh, we'll talk about each of these in general in their own video, but for now it's just good for you to know what the steps are. There's prophase to start things off, then there's metaphase, then anaphase, and telophase. These are all separate steps of division. Each one have their own sort of unique characteristics of what's going on. As I said before, each one of these will have their own video where we'll get into that process in depth. Uh, for now, all I need you to know is that those are the four parts of mitosis, which is one particular part of M phase. And uh, then the last thing for us to talk about is cytokinesis. This is the process of when the cell actually divides. So at the end of cytokinesis, will end up with two separate cells, uh, what they call two daughter cells, which is ultimately the product of this whole process of cell division. The very last thing to talk about, we'll actually blow this one up, your book doesn't get into this too much, but um, it shows at the end of this process that most cells go back into G1 phase. Some cells at the end of the process of cell division end up uh, not going into G1 phase. They go into a process called G0. Uh, this is just a period of pretty much dormancy for the cell. That only happens to cells that are no longer dividing. Uh, for example, some of your nerve cells are no longer dividing, which is why if people have nerve injuries, like say a spinal cord injury, it can be very difficult or sometimes even impossible for them to recover from that because those cells are no longer actively dividing, which means they can't repair themselves. So not everything uh, is constantly going in this cycle of division. Some of the cells in your body reach a certain point and then they're finished dividing. But for the most part, uh, this diagram in your book is very helpful. I think it's nice how it shows how interphase kind of encompasses G1, S, and G2 phase, and then it breaks M phase down into the smaller individual parts. So we'll spend some time individually going through each of these, but for now, uh, just for you to know a general layout of the cell cycle is the basic goal from this video. So as always, uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in class.